Good morning, everyone. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you have enjoyed your week of very, very nice weather that we have had um, to be on spring break for you guys. We went back to school this week, and it was an adventure getting back into it. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed that time that you've had. I hope that you are ready to get back into school this coming week that uh, your teachers have worked hard on getting all that stuff ready for you. Now today, we're going to read a story called 10 Ways to Be Perfect. Now, if any of you know Miss Eden very well, which Jenny and Mary Kate do, and probably some of your parents do, there's one thing Miss Eden doesn't like. I don't like rules. I don't like being told what to do. But sometimes, that is something that we have to do. Even as grown-ups, we have to be told what to do sometimes. So this story is kind of about that. All right? So here we go. Ten ways to be perfect. So there they all were. Grannies and granddads and babies, uncles, aunts, and children, and moms and dads out there in the middle of the desert. They had blisters from all of the walking they were hungry and thirsty and much, much too hot. We don't like it, they said. It stinks. And so did they, for that matter, because no one had taken a bath in weeks. Now remember, because this is something they'd forgotten. God had done amazing things for his people. He'd hidden them inside a cloud. He'd moved the sea and he'd set them free. But God's people still weren't happy. They didn't care about being free. Wasn't it better when they were all slaves? At least they'd had lots of nice food to eat. God doesn't want us to be happy, they said. It was the same lie that Adam and Eve had heard all those years before. God has brought us out here to kill us. God doesn't love us, but they didn't know God very well, did they? Every day of their journey, God kept on showing his people how well he would look after them. If they would trust him and obey him when they were hungry, God made the sky rain with food, bread coming down from heaven. What is it? They asked each other. They didn't know. So they called it, what is it? Or manna. Which, of course, is a very good name for something when you don't know what it is. When they were thirsty and started quarreling and fighting, God made water flow from a rock, and Moses called that place quarreling, because that seemed like a good name, too. And still, God's children didn't trust him or do what he said. They thought they could do a better job of looking after themselves and making themselves happy. But God knew there was no such thing as happiness without him. So God led them to a tall mountain. God wanted to talk to his people and show them what he was like. He wanted to help them know him better and tell them all about the special land he was going to give them. The whole earth belongs to me, God said, but I have chosen you. You are my special family. I want you to live in a way that shows everyone else what I am like so they can know me too. God called Moses up the mountain. The great mountain shook and a thick cloud fell. Thunder roared, lightning crackled, and God gave Moses ten rules called commandments. I want you to love me more than anything else in all the world and know that I love you too. God told them that is the most important thing of all. God gave them other rules. I don't, like, don't make yourselves pretend gods. Don't kill people. Don't steal or lie. The rules showed God's people how to live and how to be close to him and how to be happy. They showed how life worked best. God promises to always look after you, Moses said. Will you love him and keep these rules? We can do it. Yes, we promise. But they were wrong. They couldn't do it. No matter how hard they tried, they could never keep God's rules 
all the time. Only one person could keep all of the rules. And many years later, God would send him to stand in their place and be perfect for them. Because the rules couldn't save them. Only God could. Now, I think that that story makes a whole lot of sense right now. So we have lots of people telling us different things, don't we? We hear lots of different things from all kinds of places. If you watch the news with mom and dad, you see that they're saying things about how people need to wear masks when they go to the store, or some people say, oh, you don't need to wear a mask. And it's different, it's different ideas that people have back and forth. Now these rules that God gave to Moses weren't those kinds of rules. They're basic things that we all know. We're not supposed to lie, we're supposed to tell the truth. And we're not supposed to have pretend gods and worship things that aren't God. And obvious ones like we don't kill people, right? Now we're not asked to, to do some big huge thing that we're dealing with right now. We're asked to try to keep our hands clean and to try to make good choices when we visit people. Um, I know we go and visit my mom and dad and we sit in the front yard and we don't give hugs as hard as that might be because we don't want to spread something that we might have. We don't want to make other people sick even if we don't know if we're having sick things, right? So we have to stick to these rules that we've been given as much as we don't like them. Rules like you can't see your friends or go and play with your friends. Those are rules that help keep us all safe and healthy. And I know it's hard because we've been doing this for so long, but hang in there, guys. I promise one day we will get to go to church and we'll get to go to school and we'll get to do all of those fun things that we haven't been able to do. Summer is coming. We will have some sort of summer, I'm sure, but we can be super thankful that we have got nice weather and that we have parents that love us and can spend time with us when they're not at work. Or if they're not working at all, they get to stay home with us and spend some time with us. I know Mr. Deeren has stayed home um, a day or two and has spent some time with us because he's still going to work. But, you know, you have to stick with what you're doing, right? We got to make sure we're making right choices and doing the good things that we can do. As hard as rules are, we have to follow them sometimes, right? And I know you guys are doing your best. And I miss all of you so very much. And I can't wait to see each and every one of you and give you a hug and tell you how much I've missed you. You guys take care of yourselves. We love you so much. Bye-bye.